Hi, and welcome to Band in a Box 2023. In this video, I'm going to delve into the exciting new partial regeneration feature added to Band in a Box 2023. I'll be showing a lot of other new features as well, but one of the main things I'll be doing is using partial regeneration to create a solo track over this country song. And I'm also just going to go through the song and mix it and get it sounding as good as I can and maybe use some of the new features to kind of spruce it up a bit as well. All right, so this is one of our new songs with vocals, which is part of our artist performance sets. So this is from artist performance set 14, and the song is Bean to the City, and it uses this sad day reel style that has acoustic guitar, electric guitar, pedal steel, and then bass and drums. And so this track here is the vocal track that we were listening to, and then it also has several singers doing backup on this track here. So first of all, I'd like to pick a completely different style here. With the new reel tracks that we're releasing with Band in a Box 2023, we have a whole bunch of really exciting producer Nashville guitars. So these are guitars that are designed to be layered on top of one another. And there's a bunch of different grooves that each have like six or, or seven guitars that are intended to really work well together. Um, they're layered, so you get that full radio kind of sound, but you can also then mix them, bring some out and bring others in to give your song shape and character. For example, like the first verse could be very subdued and then you could bring in guitars and have them swell for the chorus and then have a completely different pairing of guitars for the next verse, that kind of thing. So I'm going to actually do that with this song. Hopefully we'll see how it goes. But as I said at the beginning as well, one of the things I want to use the partial regeneration for is to sort of piece together a solo. Like I want to have a guitar solo for the intro and then I want to have the guitar solo come back in the middle and then probably for the outro as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Band in a Box generate the part, but then I'm going to go in and kind of fine tune it and regenerate any parts where I want to hear something a little bit different. So first of all, I'll get a soloist. I'll go into the Real Tracks Picker by just typing RT, enter. And I'm going to filter by Solo Nashville Shuffle. So this one here, this real track, Guitar Electric Soloist Nashville Shuffle Gritty Brent, that's the one I think I want to use here. This is a great gritty kind of guitar tone and we made this real track with Brent Mason, one of the most recorded guitar players of all time. So this I think will be perfect. Now I also actually want to load a completely different style as well. I want to load a style that uses those producer guitars. So what I'm going to do, I, I want to use this soloist here. I'm going to use a new feature where I can right click on the items in this menu. And this feature also now exists in the Real Drums Picker and elsewhere. And there are various options here, but the one I want to use is Launch Style Picker Showing Styles with the Selected Real Track. And that's this one that I clicked on, the Nashville Shuffle Gritty Brent one. So if I click here, it closes the Real Tracks Picker and opens the Style Picker. And it automatically has this filter entered in right here. So we can see that these two styles both use that soloist guitar. Scuff 2 and City Life Modern Country. Now you don't see the soloist down here because it's on one of the utility tracks. If I go here and then I use my scroll wheel, we can see that there are actually three guitars that are on utility tracks. Because as I mentioned, with these new producer guitars, there are a whole bunch of them that are intended to be used together. So you've got these ones on the on the old Band in the Box tracks, but we also have these new ones here on Utility Tracks. So it's Utility Tracks 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to pick this style, and that style has now been loaded to this song. Now you remember in the style picker there I said that Utility Track 1 was one of the ones that this style uses, but there was already an audio track on it, that the background vocals that I mentioned earlier. Now obviously we don't want the style to remove those because then we'd be losing one of our vocal tracks. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to move this now to a different track, like move it to Utility Track 4, so that then we'll get that guitar that's part of the style on Utility Track 1. So another new feature is that there are new right-click items 
right in the mixer. So I'm going to right click on this utility track one and I'm going to go to track actions and copy move tracks. This has been added to this menu here, which is very useful. All right, so the source is utility track one. I want it to go on to utility track four and I don't want to copy. I want to actually move it. And there we go. It's moved to there, which opened up this slot for the guitar that's part of the style. I'm also just going to double click on these labels to change this. Lead vocal, background vocals. These tracks were frozen from the previous style, so I'll make sure that those are not frozen anymore. And now I'm just going to hit generate and play and all of these tracks, including the soloist, will now generate over this song and we'll see how it sounds just right out of the gate. So that was sounding pretty good right at the get-go there. Um, obviously the soloist is just going to solo through this entire file here, which is not what we want. We don't want the, the soloist to be playing during the vocal parts, but that all will be taken care of very soon. Now, first of all, um, I like what it came up with, with the, for that first uh, part up here, but I want to just show you right away kind of the, the simplest way to use partial regeneration is to just highlight a region in any window in Band in a Box where you can highlight a region. So chords window, audio edit window, notation, piano roll, all of those places you can highlight regions so you can use this feature. And then there's two ways to use partial regeneration. The simplest is to just hit Control F8 and then whatever region you've selected will be regenerated. So we heard that little solo there. I'm going to press Control F8. Ah, now I've picked the wrong track here. So I'll just hit Cancel and I'll go to the actual soloist track because I had the background vocal track was the one that I had selected. So you got to make sure to select the right track here. So, but I'll do it again. I'll highlight this region and I'll go Control F8. Okay, so actually for that first four bars, I was pretty happy with that. But I'm going to go into the audio edit window and let's have a look at that here on the soloist track. All right, so I liked everything right up until this point, which is the, kind of the point where I wanted to bring the soloist out anyway, but that would be a bit of an abrupt ending. Well, first of all, I'll show you that. Uh, if I highlight this area now, this region, I can press delete to just delete this audio that's here. Now in the past, if I would have done that, that would have taken the real track here and this green text here would have changed to orange which would mean that that has now been written to an audio file. So that would mean that because I had done an edit to it, it was actually writing it as a brand new WAV file and that's now what you're hearing in here. That would mean that it then is taking up a lot more hard drive space on your computer. You know, not a ton, but it is taking up space. But now you can just delete and do other kinds of edits like that and it no longer has to write the WAV file. Now that information that this area is gone is basically just saved in the Band in a Box file. And so it doesn't need to write any new files and it doesn't need to take up any more space or anything. So I'm just going to press delete right now. We'll hear that. So it's gone. And for those of you who are familiar with the editing before, in previous versions of Band in a Box, this track would have now turned orange. And instead, it just remains exactly as it is, and the Band in a Box file is no bigger, and there's no extra audio track needed. So I really love that feature myself. Like, that's a big one for me, uh, because I like having those small files, and I don't like a lot of extra stuff written if it's not absolutely necessary. 
So let's listen to it now from there. Down in the desert where I come. So that's now sounding a lot better to me, uh, but it does end pretty abruptly. Now I have a couple of ideas as to how I can maybe change that. So before I told you that Control F8 was that really quick, just automatic regeneration, there's another option, Alt F8, which brings up this dialogue. And it's a floating dialogue. You can still do stuff underneath with this being on top. And that has the regenerate option here, but it also has other options to copy and paste or paste and merge. There are options to paste relative to the bar. So if you've highlighted a region and you want to paste it in a different bar and you want it to be in the same place within that bar, you can use that option. And you can also paste multiple copies of it as well using that. But what I'm going to just try here is just so that we don't have an, an end right at the downbeat, I'm just going to copy this little bit right here. Copy. And now I'll highlight a region here and I will paste. So that little bit of audio has now been pasted into there. So let's hear how that sounds now. Down in the desert. So that's better, but I'm finding that I wish this could have actually held a little bit longer. So instead of that, I'll undo. So that's gone now. I'm going to just delete a little bit more here. So again, I could just hit delete uh, or I could press erase right here. And instead of doing that, I think I'm going to just add a playable real track note right here. So I'll go into the piano roll. And it's right at the right at bar five that I wanted to add a new one. So first of all, I'll turn this into a playable track. I'll hit OK to add that. Another new feature with playable tracks is that in the past we could do what I'm doing right now, adding playable real tracks, uh, but playable real drums is a new feature. So you can do it with drum tracks and you can even do it with MIDI tracks. I mean, they're already MIDI, but all of the features that you use with playable tracks, such as, for example, um, entering a mute region. I can do that here. Um, you can do that with, with, other, with MIDI tracks as well, which is a very useful thing. But right now, all I'm doing is adding a single note here that I want to just kind of last so that it's not ending so abruptly. Well, let's hear how that sounds then. Down in the dead. Could be a little bit louder. Perfect. That sounds great to me. So let's let me go back in there. I'm actually just going to save this because I don't want to get rid of the song that I had before. So I'm going to just save this with a new title. Bean to the City. My edit. So there we go. I now have this file Bean to the City. My edit. And I'm not going to accidentally overwrite the other one because that's a pretty cool file too. It's it's a really neat style and uh, sounds great with that as well. But I just like to have this as an option. So let's go back in there again. And I'll go back and we'll listen from here again. Down in the desert where I come from. Yeah, so that's sounding great. Now as it is now, because I deleted the area in here, the soloist will come back here. Uh, and I don't want that, obviously, so I could delete a bunch of it again. I don't want to delete too much because, as I mentioned before, I am going to bring back the soloist a little later on. So, yeah, I don't want to, I don't need to figure that out now. For now, I'll just put some volume automation in to make this go to zero so that the soloist is still here, but, but the volume is, is at zero there, so, um, so we're not hearing it. So we just have this intro here. Now, when the singer starts, now, I, I love this, this first four bars. You've got all the guitars playing, playing. It's this kind of explosive start to the song. Um, but when the vocals start here then, even though the soloist is now gone, it still feels pretty in your face. Like, I wanted it in your face here, but I don't want it in your face so much here. So let me just play that again. And I'm going to solo some of the guitars and hear what some of the other guitars sound like. 
and maybe I'll bring some of them out uh, or do a little bit of mixing in general to, to deal with some of those. Down in the desert where I come the town So I think, I think Guitar 5 is going to come out. Um, I'll continue on listening to some of these others, but I just listened to Guitars 3 and 4 there. Actually, they're really nice together, and they're pretty mellow here, so... Oh, in the midday sun, work starts early. But yeah, let me check out what it... So here, let me hear what Guitar 2 sounds in like the in there. Where I come from. The time moves slow. You know what? This combo here of guitars two, three, and four, I think I like that. In the desert where I come from. I mean, I'll have the drums and the bass in there too, don't worry. But uh, I think those ones I want. So I'm going to bring out five and one, sort of right at the start of this. So let me look at those tracks there. Um, guitar five is sort of playing on the offbeat. So. I don't need to bring it out right here, um, but here where this next sort of main chord is played here, maybe I'll just bring it out just right up there. Um, now again, I could do the the delete thing as well for this, but um, you know, there's a time and place for everything. Sometimes de sometimes the delete key to just completely remove the audio is is what you want. Other times, you know, may maybe later I might want to bring those back in. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna delete them yet. But let's hear. That guitar then will sound like this to, to come to an end. I'll, I'll put the guitar and the drums. So that's that guitar. And then guitar one, I wanted to do something there as well. So, so now let me just hear guitar one and the drums. And again, right, it's, it, I don't want to take it out right at the downbeat. I think I want to take it out right here. Uh, that seems like it would be a little more natural. Yeah, perfect. Where I come from the town. Down in the desert where I come from, the town moves slow. Work stop. You know, now that I'm hearing it, guitar three kind of sounds a little bit prominent as well. I wonder how let me just I'll mute it and see how it sounds without it all together. Desert where I come from, the time moves slow in the midday sun. Down in the you know what? I think I want it in, but maybe just not as loud. I think might that might do the trick. Let's see this. Down in the desert where I come from, the time moves slow in the midday sun. Work starts early and for your lunch. And eh, split the difference. Yeah, out there. In the desert where I come from, the time moves slow in the midday sun. Work starts early and for your lunch break, you get a green chili burger and a vanilla shake. You take what you give and grateful to be... Now, this is still part of the verse, but it's definitely... You know, the song itself, that's sort of a building point for the song itself. And so uh, making that a kind of a building point for the mix also might be kind of nice. So Take what you give and great. So this guitar could come back up more to more prominence. And maybe I'll bring in one of the guitars. Uh, maybe, maybe guitar one. Let's see how it sounds to bring back guitar one at that point. And again, it doesn't have to be right at the bar line. It looks like there's like a little pickup here into that note. So if I just bring it right back up, kind of here, let's solo that. Oops, wasn't soloing that. Yeah, so you got the little pick up there. So let's let's listen to that then. We'll go back a little ways and we'll see how it sounds then at bar 13, where you want that little, just a little pick me up kind of part of the verse. In a vanilla shake. You take what you give and grateful to be living in a land that still survives in the fresh clean air far away from the glare of those blinding city lights 
Nice. So there, um, now which guitar was out at this point? Uh, guitar five. Um, and maybe it doesn't even need to be, again, not even at the bar line and, uh, and not even immediately before it, but right back here. Let's see how it sounds to come right back here. That's if we see that as beat before, just before beat four of the previous bar. Lies, yes, I've been to the city. All right, so we now have a little four bar, I think it's four bars. Let's see, starting at 29 and yeah, come, the vocal comes back at 33. So we have a little four bar instrumental, perfect place to bring back our soloist here. Um, so uh, I'll just bring it right back and then maybe, um, and then maybe use the partial regeneration to kind of finesse it again a little more. So I'll just bring it right back from here. That's actually, that's a bar earlier. Let's see how it sounds to just come in a bar earlier. You feel so all alone. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, so let me see. Uh, that was a little loud given that there was the vocal was still going on. It kind of just immediately sort of washed him out, uh, which I don't want. I also don't want it to be sort of too quiet so it sounds weird, but let's see how this sounds. It's also, I'm definitely going to keep this little section because I like the, uh, the, the riff. It fits really nicely with his vocal part. All right, so... Um, I like what he did so far. I particularly like this bit, but I like the rest of it too. However, I'd like to just experiment a bit and see see what else it might come up with. Um, the great thing is that this feature is undoable. So I can generate a new part, uh, several new parts if I want, and if I don't like them, I can just undo and then it goes back to the way it was. So let me try that right now. Um, you know what, I'll do the full, this full region here. And when I regenerate, it will play the bar before as well, which is great because it's a very important thing is that it's gonna sound good, even if the solo itself sounds good in the region I selected, that doesn't necessarily mean it will necessarily fit with what came before. So I wanna hear what comes before as well. So I'm just gonna press Control F8 again. So well, I wanted to use this instance as a as a way to show you undo, but actually I love the I love what it just came up with there. So I think I'm gonna leave that well enough alone because that was that was great and it fit perfectly with this little bit before here. Um, but I, I'm sure I'll get a chance to show you undo uh, a little bit later too. So, but but uh, for now, I think I'm going to keep that. So I didn't like this though. So um, now let me see if there's anything I can cut and paste there too. Uh, if I can, I will. If not, I might just do the playable real track again because that's very effective. But this, everything from here on, I don't definitely don't want anything in there. So I'm just going to hit delete again here. And again, I love that it does that. And I still got my green track here, meaning it's basically just saved right in the band in a box file. And it's not a huge file and it's not new wave files. But let me go and see if there's anything that might be useful to paste there because I, I really enjoy doing that as well. I, I'm not entirely sure how this will sound, but I wonder if this would sound good in that part. So, 
I'm going to use the handy dialog again. I'm going to hit copy for this region and and paste it in there. No, I don't think I like that. Oh, good. Now I get to show you undo. So I'll press undo. Okay, so I think actually I'm going to just go in and do the same thing I did before because that's very effective as well. So I'll go into the piano roll. That was at bar, right at bar 33 is where I want to add a new note. Um, I'll put in that mute region here. And probably right there. So many and again, I'll make it a little louder. So so many the mute, I think it was muting a little bit earlier than it needed to, so. so many to make I'm going to make this last a little longer. All right, that was kind of funny that the lyric in that was make the scene because that's kind of how I think of the of mixing like this is each verse is kind of a, a new scene, um, both lyrically but also with regards to the mix. So last time when the verse came in, I think it was I kept guitars two, three, and four. So I want to make it a little bit different this time. I'll, st I'll still bring out some guitars so that so that everything kind of comes down, but I'll make it a bit different. So let's let's have a look here um, at what some of these other guitars are doing. Oh, and I'll also again I deleted this area in here, but like like before, I don't want to delete much further because I don't know when I want to bring the soloist back again. But uh, he will be coming back for sure. Don't worry about that. Uh, now I've forgotten what they all sound like, so I'm just gonna solo some of them again and just listen. The sardines. Who in the world ever thought of this? It's a concrete maze called the. Mer I wonder how. Okay, I might I might change my mind afterwards, but I wonder how it would sound to just have guitar five in here with the bass and the drums. So let me bring out guitar four then. And and again, I don't like doing it right at the at the bar line just in general because it's uh, it doesn't feel as natural uh, when that happens. So I'll let them play just that first chord of the next bar and then that'll be it. And let's see. And this one will just be that single low D. There, lovely. And what's this guy doing here? I'll let him play that whole thing, but I'll fade it out uh, until here. So that's gonna be like that. Yeah, and guitar one, what's guitar one doing here? Perfect, right here. It'll just play that little muted thing there, and then guitar one will be out. All right, so going from the solos, here, here it go from the solo into that. Always in the crowd, yet you feel so The subway's packed like a tin of sardines. And I think right away here, just four bars of that, that was great, but then I feel like I want something else. So, again, I wish I could remember what each of these <laughs> sounded like, but I might have to listen to them again here. 
um, let's see which one I want to bring back in. I mean, I could just kind of do it randomly. Let's see what it sounds like with guitar two brought back in right, right at this part. The subway is packed like a tin of sardines. Who in the world? Oh, that's nice, actually. I really like that, but a little too quiet. Let's let's bring. Tin of sardines. Who in the world ever thought of this? It's a concrete maze called the Metropolis. You take what. And then again, yeah, I, just little four-bar chunks might be nice here. I'll bring this back to zero, so it's not too prominent now. And I'll bring another guitar back in. You know what? I'm just going to kind of do it randomly here as well. Um, yeah, guitar three. I'll bring guitar three back in here. Maybe the f maybe a full barb. Well, let's see what it's what this part sounds like. You take what you yeah, right, uh, right here. I think. Let's see. It's called the Metropolis. You take what you read. No, and actually, I just want to have it do it right at the bar line. I think that's the best. Who in the world ever thought of this? It's a concrete maze called the Metropolis. You take what you read, leave the rest on the table, always running. Mm. You take what you read, leave the rest on the table, always running for your lives. Truly unaware that some fresh, clean air is just a couple hours drive away. I've been to the city. Okay, now everybody back in here. I'll bring this guy back to, to zero so that we don't have a huge wash of guitars, but all of the other ones that are still out, I will bring back in at this point here. I've been to the guitar one is in, guitar two is in, three is in, four is still out. I'll bring it back a little early. Okay, so now we got the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna just go into the chords here. So for bridges, uh, I generally like to change what the drums are doing for the bridge. Now, real drum styles have an A substyle and a B substyle for whatever drum variation you loaded. So this Nashville Radio Shuffle, for example, uh, it's using variation one which means that the A section will be playing a snare and hi-hat part and the B section will be playing a snare and ride. So for our song so far, the verses are all set as A, so it's playing a snare and hi-hat part. And then the choruses are set, uh, the choruses and the solos are set to B, so it's playing a snare and ride part. And all of that so far has seemed very appropriate and, uh, you know, it just automatically switches where it needs to switch based on these part markers. For bridges though, it's nice to go to something a little bit different. Now, this is just the first variation has these two substyles, but different variations have different substyles. But you don't have to actually change the real drums style here to access them. You can just right click on the part marker and then it shows you the ones that are available. So we've had the snare and ride, um, and that's what's set now because it's B. And we had this, the snare and hi-hat, which is what was happening for the verses. But then there are these two other options, snare and ride cut time, and then a side stick and hi-hat part here. So for the bridge, I think I would like to switch that to snare and ride doing a cut time kind of thing. And now that I've made that change there, I wanna just make sure this is then gonna go back to the usual snare and hi-hat 
and then this will go back to the usual uh, snare and ride. Yeah, and it's already going back to their usual snare and ride there. All right, and now since this bridge is is using a different drum pattern, I think it would be nice if the bass played whole notes or half notes instead of the groove that it's playing. And there are a few different ways to do this, but I think I'm going to do it with playable real tracks. So go to the piano roll again. Do this. So I'm going to first of all turn on playable tracks. And I'm going to set a mute region that will go for those eight bars. And the notes underneath, I'm just going to make them all playable for now. Like this. Change selected notes to playable. Oh, it missed the first one. Let me get that one as well. I'll solo the bass and drums for this little part here. So I'll zoom in again. And now I'm just going to delete all of the other notes that are playing. Actually, I think, like I said, I think actually half notes might be good. So I'll just delete everything in between. And then this last one, I will make it a whole note. So I'm going to highlight them all because I don't, I don't want them to be just short notes like they are right now. And then I'll make them all longer. Now I don't need know if I need to, the, the MIDI notes that are in there look like they're coming a little bit after the beat. Well, I'll hear how it sounds and I can adjust that if need be. So let's hear how this sounds. For starters, it could, they could all come up. I'm not sure why that note didn't play. I think it might have been a little bit too early. There we go. They could all even still come up a bit more. And I am actually noticing the, the lateness uh, just of the MIDI notes, not of his actual playing, but of the MIDI notes. So bring them back a little bit. up too. Yeah, that's sounding, that's sounding quite good to me. And I just had a thought for that last bar there. Now I've been using playable real tracks, which are, uh, is not a new feature, um, but playable real drums are. And I was thinking that I'd like to do something special for that bar for the real drums. So first thing, it's, um, it's an A augmented chord. So I'm going to retype the chord, the A augmented chord in but I'm going to have all of the instruments except the drums hold for that. So A augmented and then dot 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 is the kind of the band in a box code when entering chords for a hold, meaning all of the instruments will just play a long held chord or held note in the case of basses. Um, but then you can put uh, a modifier for specific instruments to not hold. So I'm going to do it with the drums. So the drums are just going to play what the drums would normally play for this section, which is a fill. So let me regenerate that 
and we'll hear how it sounds right now, and then I'll make the changes that I wanted to do with that uh, using the playable reel drums. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go into the piano roll window here. Now, this is the bar in question, bar 72 here. Now, let me just solo the drums and listen to what's being played right now. All right, so what I wanna have happen here is I wanna have the drums stop and then play a fill to get out. Now the fill that's being played there is actually quite nice. So I'm perfectly happy to leave that. So first of all, I'll enable the playable track. It will load a drum sound onto it. And now I'm gonna create a mute region here. Now I wanna have it go just up until this last uh, triplet eighth note in beat two. So it's just a short little thing where it's gonna it's going to mute just the first beat and two-thirds of the second beat there. So this is what it's like right now. So what I want to have happen then is I want to just have it play. A, a crash. Right there. And a kick. Kick and a crash at the same time. Now I could change the velocities, but let me listen to it first there. See how this sounds. Okay, uh, definitely too loud here. Um, I'll just bring it all down. Way too quiet. Split the difference. And actually, I don't, now that I'm listening to it, I don't think that first uh, eighth note in there is, is, is good. So just right here. That sounds a lot better. I like that a lot better now. Yeah, I didn't need to hear that, um, that hit that came before there. So bring the other instruments in now. And... Okay, so we're getting near the end of the song here. Um, one last little bit of mixing in this verse, and then everything will be in for a sort of grand finale at the end there. But a little something different for this, um, this verse here. Let me just see what the drums are doing. Go back to side stick and hi-hat for that, and then for here, back to snare and ride. Down in the desert something a little weird still happening here with the bass. I might have done something up, uh, done something there. Oh yeah, I made the bass mute uh, longer than it should have. It should only be muted to here. So um, uh, that'll be fixed when I, uh, when I press play again. But for now, uh, let's see, what instruments do I want to have here? Well, you know what, I'll just use the actual mute button to see which I want. I will, or solo buttons actually would make more sense. I'll solo the bass, the drums, and the lead vocal, and I'll just try a couple guitars in to see what I want sort of for this final scene before the grand finale here. Down in the desert where I grew up, the ice won't last in your plastic cup. You keep an eye out every step you take for a blue battle screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Down in the desert where I grew up, the ice won't last in your plastic cup. You keep an eye out every step you take for a blue-tailed lizard or a rattlesnake. You take what you... Yeah, I like, I think, maybe four bars of this. 
and then guitar one in and then the other guitars in so so just guitar four in here so bar 73 guitar five will be out four will remain in three will be out I'll let it play that one little chord there Down in the guitar two out and guitar one out uh, right here is, looks like a good spot there when I was Desert where I grew up, the ice won't last in your plastic cup. You keep all right. Well, this guitar is in front of me right now, so I'll bring this one back in for uh, after the four bars. You keep an eye out every step you take for a blue tail lizard or a rattlesnake. And again, another one for here. Uh, <laughs> I won't bother listening to them all, I'll just pick one. Pick a random one, and that guitar is coming back here. You take what you give and grateful to be living in a land that still survives. In the uh, you know what? And then another, another one here, because we got five guitars. So yeah, if they're coming back every four bars, that seems to work well. Uh, which one is still out? This one's still out. Um, but I will bring it back here, actually. In the fresh, clean air, far away from... And what's still... Oh, we got still got guitar three. You know what? I'll do it two bars. Two bars before the end there. It comes back in. And then we're into the... Nigh out every step you take for a blue-tailed lizard or a rattlesnake. You take what you give and grateful to be living in a land that still survives. And this one in the fresh clean air far away from the glare of those blinding city lights and yes i've been to the city where the nights are greedy and the l train shakes your bones it's so dang loud always in the all right so there's another new feature that i'd like to take advantage here uh, of here as well that I think will be a lot of fun. Now, we had these backing vocals earlier on and it, they were very nice. Um, and it's more or less the same backing vocals then come in here. So um, I wanna choir this thing up and, uh, <laughs> and make it a little more, give it a little more oomph in the vocal department. So I am gonna go to the Real Tracks picker here. And there is, uh, there are a bunch of vocals uh, like oohs and ahs and doo -wop and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that we have in the real tracks picker um, and there is one I'm gonna search for I've already searched for shuffle I'm gonna search for shuffle vocal yeah so we got this gospel shuffle here so if I select the, the, this one vocal background gospel shuffle which is, is the ensemble we see all of these check boxes appear below here now this is a new feature called real track stems last year we added real drum stems which um similar idea but but quite different because the real drums were basically you can get access to for the for any drum performance you get access to all of the mics that we're using to mic it which is, is great for like exporting and then doing your own mix that kind of thing is perfect for that but with these ensembles it's a similar idea but then you, but you're getting isolated parts for these because um, like this vocal ensemble, for example, they were recorded as in, as separate little units, isolated. So you're getting all of those. So you then have like complete control over the mix. So you can see what we have here. This is a three part gospel shuffle, but you'll notice there's a lot more than three parts here. That's because there are some options here. The first three options are soprano, and you can see it says vocal soprano, it just SOP, but soprano double. And the double means that this is actually a mix of two voices singing in unison. Same with this one, alto, the higher alto voice doubled. So that's two voices, four voices, and then the lower alto voice 
uh, doubled as well. So we're, this is basically six voices. Now all of these other ones are exactly the same as those, but you can select them and have even more separation. So you, you then have those six there as well. But I'm just going to use these three. And let me make sure I'm putting them in the right place. I'm putting them on utility five here. So it's going to put them on tracks five, six, and seven. Now those individual parts here, I should just point out, those were available previously. Like this is a, a real track that we released some time ago. And those individual voices were available back then to use as individual voices. But if you put them together, they were all just creating their own separate parts. So they were not a coherent ensemble type thing. Now, these all will be generated together. So the parts will blend together. Like they will be the actual parts that go together, which is something that we have not had in the past. So that's a very exciting new feature as well. So I'm going to generate track there. So I just want to have them come in at 89. So again, we could do the delete thing or just use the volume automation. I'll just use volume automation. Uh, so 89 is where I want them to come in. And so I'll do them one at a time here. Um, you know what, I'll see what it sounds like for them to come in a, uh, in the bar before that. That probably actually would be nice. And you can see as I go from track to track, they all kind of are mirrored there because they're all, again, part of the same ensemble. Um, and this one here, ah, 89. Uh, all right, so let's hear what it sounds like when they come in. From the glare of those blinding city lights. And yes, I've been to the city where the nights are greedy and the air train shakes your bones. Now this is the first time uh, that I've uh, found the lead vocals kind of washing out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just bring them up using, bring the lead vocal up using volume automation. And... And I just remembered something about these vocals. Um, when we recorded these vocals, uh, we also did a soloist vocal that kind of really went along with this. So I'm going to actually add that to Utility 8. That one will have come in at 97, so then after, after the first eight bars of where the choir has started in there, then we'll have uh, even more new stuff happening with the, with the singer. So let me, let me check that out. Um, so Utility Track 8, I will uh, add a real track. And let's see, Shuffle Vocals, that might be, yeah, this is the one right here. Background Soloist, Gospel Shuffle soulful i'll generate the track and then again i'll just mute it from the beginning as okay so that one then again i will audio edit and um bring it back at the beginning at the beginning and what bar did i say i wanted it to come back in um 97 is where I wanted her to start singing. 97, right about here. You know what, uh, it's always good for that type of thing to happen a bar early, early. So now this is another one that I could use the partial regeneration for. So let's see what this is. I'll solo this 
uh, maybe just solo a couple things just so I can hear a little bit of what's happening here in context, but I'll be able to sort of hear this. Okay, so again, if I wanted to, um, I'd like the beginning, but maybe I'd like to regenerate these. So again, Control F8. You know what? I really should be listening to the lead vocal, actually. It should be in here as well. Um, I wanted just to have some of the others out so I could kind of focus on her, but um, I might want to consider what he's singing uh, just in case things clash so let's let me try that again all alone skyscraper swaying and the sirens are wailing like some manic saxophone so much there but it can't compare to a peaceful night back home So this, I think I liked it up to there. Let me try that, regenerate this part again here. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better there. So another thing I was thinking for this part here, now that we're getting to the end and it's really crazy, uh, it'd be nice if the drummer just kind of went overboard. And so played fills like every two bars kind of thing. And um, we did put part markers in here every two bars, uh, but there will be crashes in all of these. So I was thinking maybe f just for this eight bar chunk here, maybe the drummer could still be playing fills every two bars, but not necessarily play crashes in here. And there is a new feature uh, as well that allows you to do that. So drum fill wanted for this bar. So that means there will now be a drum fill at 106, and I'll do the same thing here, 110. So I'll uh, regenerate, it'll regenerate the drum part, and then I'll start there. All right, and now finally, I did promise earlier that we would bring the soloist back. So we're gonna bring the soloist back, um, probably the bar before uh, it goes into uh, this part. Uh, so, the, so the last bar of vocals, I'll probably bring it back there as long as it sounds okay, so. So I'm not sure what's playing it this time, but uh, like I said, that was a good reason why I didn't actually erase the material um, uh, earlier, because I do want to be able to sort of bring it back in some places. And that includes right here. So let's see what we've got here, and I'll use the partial regeneration if there are any little bits that I kind of think that I'd like them to change. I think it needs to be a bit louder there. Probably not there, not until the vocals are done. So I'll leave it a little lower from here and then, but then I'll bring it out so it's really kind of wailing solo. All right, well, th let's try this whole thing here. I'll do, again, super handy, control F8. Now, the voc that uh, background vocal, um, I'm liking most of it, but here they were kind of singing the same notes and it was a little clashy, so I'm gonna bring her out just for this little bit uh, now that I've got the solo back in. So, down with her for that.
All right, so I don't think I want it to go to the very end there. This seems like uh, an obvious candidate for a fade out. And there's a new feature as well that and it, that makes that a lot easier. I mean, you could do that previously. There were some, some options um, in the F5 dialog that you could do fade outs uh, in previous versions. And then the volume automation was actually introduced last year. So um, you could do fade outs by adding volume automation to every single track. Um, but that, that's a little cumbersome as well. So, but now on the master track, you can put volume automation and then it affects everything. So let me just have a look here. I want it to be sort of between, uh, yeah, between 107 and before we actually get to the end. So yeah, right up to probably around shortly into bar 121. So 107 to 121. So there and yeah. So let's listen to that now. And this is kind of nice. I like that the, the drums are gonna go crazy for this little fade out thing. Uh, I think that'll be a, a kind of a fun way to end it. Now, actually, I heard something in the guitar I think I want to change. I wasn't. Yeah, that little bit there. I liked everything up to there, but I think I might want to try to change this. So again, super handy, control F8. And again. Now maybe if I, that might be okay if I, if I was, if there was a little bit of space, because there is a little bit of space in this solo, so it's not um, uh, unheard of to do that. So let me just delete a little bit here and see how that sounds. All right, so that gives you a good sense of some of the new tools in Band in a Box 2023 uh, for mixing and for uh, creating the exact part that you want. It's a lot of fun to do, and um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed working through this file, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So uh, I'm going to leave you now by just uh, playing this song from start to finish, so you can feel free to check that out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and have fun. Time moves slow in the midday sun Work starts early and for your lunch break You get a green chili burger and a vanilla shake You take what you give and grateful to be living In a land that still survives In the fresh clean air Far away from the glare Of those blinding city lights Subway's packed like a tin of sardines Who in the world ever thought of this? It's a concrete maze called the Metropolis You take what you're able, leave the rest on the table Always running for your lives Truly unaware that some fresh clean air 
Just a couple hours drive away I've been to the city where the nights are gritty And the L train shakes your bones It's so dang loud, always in the crowd Yet you feel so all alone Skyscraper swaying and the sound in your plastic cup You keep an eye out every step you take for a blue-tailed lizard or a rattlesnake You take what you give and grateful to be living in a land that still survives In the fresh clean air far away from the glare of those blinding city lights And yes I to the city where the nights are gritty and the L train shakes your bones. It's so dang loud, always in the crowd, yet you feel so all alone. Skyscraper swaying and the sirens are wailing like some manic saxophones. So much there, but it can't come. Peaceful night.